All right, we are live. Welcome to FMA Discussion. This is episode 47. Uh, today we featuring Guru Duran Sordo and Maestro Arno Narzo of Cali's Illustrissimo. So how are you guys all doing? Oh, hello, hello. Just yep. Oh, good. Okay. Is that it's good? Yeah, yeah, no, good. So, how uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, good, we're good. Okay. <laughs> so, it's nice to see um, <clears throat> that crazy guy is, is not there anymore from the touch run. Looks like he left, huh? I'm sure, I'm sure he'll find a way to. Uh, to uh to show up again you think he'll come back i don't know he's like a ninja maybe using another account yeah maybe he'll use another account or something <laughs> so <clears throat> all right well this i want to thank you both for coming on um this is gonna be uh i'm pretty excited this is gonna be uh <clears throat> i think this is gonna be fun plus we got the we got the demo from you guys and all that so um so just uh hey, what's the current um what's the current status with you guys as far as the whole covid are you guys able to obviously you're able to uh go about correct well it's hard to train um because of you know social distancing and wherever you go you have to wear a mask and stuff like that actually what we're doing right now <laughs> it's actually not allowed <laughs> i had to sneak I had to sneak Coach Arnold into my building, um, so you know. Oh, you know, somebody mentioned that. Like, yeah, it's a very. That's strict. funny you brought that up today. I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention, but somebody was saying that, based on what's going on over there, that somebody was going to they referenced somebody was going to have to sneak somebody, and I didn't like pay, pay particular attention. I thought they were joking, but obviously, that's serious. That yeah, you have I to. Mean, uh, they're very strict, you know, they're very strict about, um, about, you know, the quarantine and, uh, the curfew and stuff like that. And especially the, the social distancing and wearing masks. So we're trying to, uh, we don't actually train. Sometimes we train online with each other. We do like uh, video, uh, video training, but that's it. So then, so Maestro, it's been, um, so you haven't had, Contact with your students then, correct? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, we able to train at uh, somewhere in Tramoros because uh, there's a space there that only few people uh, will visit. So they have a ha like a hiding place there. So we train every Sunday. Or sometimes I do some one on one on that place. So it's it's safe. <laughs> no 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 police. No oh, so nobody's. Nobody's watching or like, or right. Okay. 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 So then is there any talk when this is going to end for you guys? Oh, that's a good question. We don't yeah, know. I know. <laughs> like the million dollar there question. So huh? that, there are so many rumors that the quarantine would be extended or be made, made even stricter. It, it, it is a monthly number. If the number goes higher and then. Yeah. We don't there know. More restrictions. Yeah. yeah. More yeah, I tell you, I know what it, it's, it's kind of over here. It's depending on the state you're in, it, it's all different. But um, man, I just I know, like you guys, I can't wait for it to end. Um, all right, to, oh, uh, David Pogi says um, hello to everybody, and Lance. Says, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's coming up next, hopefully pretty soon. Um, Manuel Curtis says says how you doing, Maestro Arnold? Okay, all right. So um, just for both of you, let's uh, before we jump into Ki, like what would each and this is for both of you, what was your first FMA experience? Who, when, and where? First FMA experience. Yeah, for, for me, I was started in 1993. Uh, uh, my only FMA experience is in Illustrissimo. So, oh, so you, right from the get-go, you went right there. You didn't do anything previous. Okay. 
if you need anything. No, no, no. Just only no, only illustration more. So oh, good. <laughs> pure illustration more. Oh, good for you. Yeah. How about you, uh, Guru Duran? Um, I my started when I joined the uh, Bakbakan. So it was uh, Master Tooper uh, who introduced me to Tatang and Master Tony and Master Yuli and uh, Punong Guru Edgar Sulite. Actually, mm -hmm. Edgar, uh, if if I remember if I remember correctly, I would I would often see Master Edgar Sulite with uh, Master Tooper as he would go he would uh, visit Master Tooper in his house. So technically speaking. Um, Master Edgar Sulite was the one who who first uh, made me hold the stick, because at that time we were concentrating. Uh, Master Tuber was uh, concentrating with us on uh, um, kickboxing, uh, sagasa stuff. And then, okay, okay, okay. If, if either we would go with him to Luneta, or he would bring uh, Grandmaster Grandmaster Lucisimo over to his house in the south, and we would train there sometimes. But Actually, we would just watch mostly because it would just be with Master Cooper. Yeah, but so just watching, that must have been incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And all of those videos that uh, Master Cooper took, we were, we were uh, sometimes we would be there in the background. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All those, that, that, uh, that famous uh, library, 1985 huh? 1985 or 1986 or uh, something. Oh, so you were that, oh, so that, 85 yeah. for you. Yeah, maybe 1985. How old were you? I don't remember anymore. Yeah, yeah. long time ago. How old were you? I was 14. 14. 14. Wow, 14 to be doing that. How incredible! I was 14. So when you were 14, did you did you kind of? I know you're just 14 years old, but did you realize like what was before you? No, actually, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I just I just followed what uh, Master Tooper said. I didn't really realize the gravity of um, having someone like, you know, Tatang Illustrissimo there. I you know, know. And you look back and you're like, wow. You know, now, you know, everyone's like, yo, you know, Tatang, Tatang, Tatang. And I'm like, mm. wow. <laughs> you know. I know. Think about it, though. Like you had Master Tooper, Master Diego, PJ Adgar, Yuli, I mean, like, that's like, a, it's like the 80s Boston Celtics, like, right? Yeah, yeah you would say, they're like, uh, how do you say, like the dream team. Yeah, I'm it's telling like, you, yeah. It's like, like, yeah. Wow. Well, um, how did you, um, Maestro, how did you become aware of uh, KI? Like, um, what did you, uh, how did you find out about it? Uh, I, I grew. I was born in Manila, but I was. I grew up in Cebu. So my parents, my parents are. Uh, my mother is uh, from Cebu. So I love sports since I was young. My first, uh, my first love was boxing and basketball. And then uh, when I was uh, 17 years old, uh, I decided to go to Manila because I'm, I'm looking for my father because my father left us. Uh, before one day, uh, I saw a guy in my neighborhood swinging stick, and then I asked the guy, "So, oh, hey, what's the name of that, sir?" And I said, "Like, Lucy Paris." So it was put in my mind that a uh, swinging stick was Lucy Paris. So when I was in Manila, uh, 1987, after I graduated high school, I used to jog in Luneta, and then uh, Sunday, then I saw lots of uh, group of martial arts during the 80s there. So there's a group of boxers there. Uh, they're doing some karate in this side, Taichi. And then the other side are uh, stick fighting. So uh, it, it uh, catch my attention. I hear tick tock, tick tock. So when I look at the other side, like, oh, wow, there's a lot of goosey parties there. So uh, I, I watch one by one each group. So it's like, oh, I don't like this one because it's like karate. They hold the stick. Key kick, kick, and then kick, and then strike the stick. Then I look at another group, and like, they also tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, it's like, ah, oh, I don't like this one. And then the last group, the last group before I go down 
going back to my place, it caught my attention the the group of illustrations. So they're almost Bisaya. So the same language that I speak, because I always, I also oh, okay. Okay. So it's like, oh, uh, because Bisaya, when they talk, Bisaya and talk, talk each other, it's, it sounds like they're fighting. So the voice, oh, ah, no, no, it's like this, I go like, ah, I go like that. So I saw them how they were described, like, oh, wow, I like this one. Because the, the, the other group, uh, the, the, uh, my other observation, other group, they collect them. And then, like, uh, kids are better striker than them. The, the, uh, kids knows how to strike because if you, uh, if the kids plays with his dad, with his stick, the swing stick, uh, follow through like this. So, like, I like this. I like this group. So, the next Sunday, again, I do jogging. And then, after jogging, I go straight to the place at that group. I never know that what's the name of the group before because, in my mind, all of those with the stick are those pares. So I was sitting down and waiting for those guys to train. And then there's a guy uh, invited me. He said, hey, kid, hey, hey boy, you, you've been here every Sunday. So why don't you waste your, uh, why are you wasting your time not joining us? So and then I asked, yeah, can I join? Then what's the name of the of, of this? Then there's a time I know that's uh, Illustrissimo. Like, yeah, Illustrissimo. So what is Illustrissimo? So he uh, explained to me that Illustrissimo is the family name of the founder. So Tatang Illustrissimo. That's how I started joining the illustration at that time. So who who actually made um, the invite? Who who was that? Okay, uh because uh there's a guy the name uh his name is Tony Chavez. He's, he he lives in Luneta. He stays stays in Luneta because he doesn't have, doesn't have a house. He, he doesn't have a house so they live in Luneta. So uh, it's like uh, I run errand uh, to San Tata. What an errand boy. Yeah, errand boy of Tata. That's oh, you buy coffee, so uh, yes. soft drinks or whatever. So that's the guy who usually leading the, the teaching early at six o'clock, seven o'clock, because the seniors that time arrive like eight o'clock and nine o'clock. But when the seniors arrive, they are the guy. Oh, he, he, uh, he took off? <laughs> so he's the guy who invited me to join because he's just leading the, the basic one early in the morning. So when, when, when the seniors arrive, so we stop and then see the other uh, side. Okay. So he's the one who introduced me to Tatang. He says, this is the grandmaster. So he introduced me to Tatang and then Tatang said, okay, uh, come on and join. So I joined this class. So I don't know persons who are the the head of the of the group or whatever just in my mind just okay i go i'm excited because uh i was just excited it's the first time i i joined a stick a swing stick because i don't have idea about stick yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got uh uh brandon guru brandon rickard and jamie moore's hey guys um so, all right, let me, uh, let me just see here. We've got a ton of, ton of questions. Um, can you just get, um, let's just focus on, because it sounds like obviously both of you had some exposure and got to see um, GM Mill, Susamo, and all that. So, Duran, what was your, um, what was your first impression seeing him, seeing him move and all that? Oh. I was, I was amazed. Like, you know, at that time, you know, he was, at that time he was, you know, how old was he already at that time? But he still moved so, so fast, you know, you know, and like, uh, so smooth, like no, no gaps, uh, no gaps uh, between the uh, movements. Like, bah, 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 he'd always move. Da, da, da. I was like, wow, this, I, I'd be like, when I when I'm that age, I want to be like that, you know. Yeah, like um, the whole and, thing with um, you know, I hear from everybody. Everybody I spoke to like hitting um, you know, people a quarter of his age or oh, yeah. you know I mean, a third of his age. Yeah. <laughs> because when I saw when when he would when uh, Master Tooper and uh, Master Tony, when they would uh, when they would train with Tatang, they would you know when uh, they would uh, feed. Uh, you know, they would feed strikes, you know, to Tatang to see what uh, what he would do, 
You know, if you feed this, he'll do something. If you feed that, he'll do something else. So actually, Master Tupper and Master Tony were sacrificing themselves because Tatang will really, will really hit, you know, will really hit you. He, he has absolutely no control. You know, if you, <laughs> he'll, like, he'll really hit you. So oh. because of their, because of their sacrifice, yeah, we it. get to learn. Yeah, right, because <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. You know, we used to get, you know, and, uh, and the favorite, one of the favorite uh, targets of, you know, um, of Tata was the eyes. Yeah, so Ooh. over your eyes. Yeah, I mean, he has no control. And so, so I remember when, when he was almost um, uh, in his, you know, in his uh, later years already. Yeah. I remember he was sitting down in the house of Tuper. You know, he looked tired, you know, and because I think they were going to shoot uh, some videos. And he looked tired. And um, Master Tuper gave him a drink, like like a shot of gin. Uh, we call it um, Cuatro Cantos. Cuatro Cantos. Yeah, Cantos. It's a very strong gin. And then Master Tuper gave, uh, uh, gave uh, Tatang a, a blade, a sword. And it was like... Uh, it was like Tatang came, you know, like, I mean, he came to life, you know, when he held the sword, like he stood up straight and uh, it was awesome. It's like he, like he gets energy from holding a blade, you know, wow. but when he sat down again, he was like this again, you know, he was like that. But when he had the sword, he was like, you know, he was yeah, like ready yeah. to go, you know. So awesome. um, when you, the, the, the times that you're speaking of, are you are you are you still talking like you were around teen teen years? Yeah, that was like eighties nineties. So then, um, is that when um, Master Tuper got the camera, the video recorder, and yeah. he was okay, okay. All of those all of those videos were filmed in his house in Las Piñas, in the south in the, the southern uh, part of the of the city that's in Las Piñas. Uh, Paranaque, okay. and some videos I think were filmed in. He had a house here in the Makati, um, but most of them were shot in in the house of Tuper, either in Alabang or in uh, Las Piñas. Okay, wow. So, Maestro, when you're getting invited to this group on Sundays, you meet um, the town. What was your What was your impression? Just um, from seeing him and, and all that, what was your first impression? So the first time I I saw Tata, I can't believe that he can move. Yeah, yeah. Can, I can't believe he can move because he's just silent and then just doing like this, sitting at the side. He just only answer questions. If you ask him, he answer questions and that's it. So one time, uh, there's a foreign visitors in Luneta and asked Tatan for the demo. So I was surprised the way how he moves. So like, oh wow, uh, like a 90 years old man can still move fast. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. And then I was remember one time because after our, our years of training with uh, at Luneta, uh, after a year, two years, so because uh, I found out that Tatan living in the same place uh the same way to my home but we were living uh, close to each other so after the training so i go with tata I'm going home uh before that i invited him to my house eat for lunch and after that go to his house in 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 parola so one time on our way home we walked right across the streets and there's a blind corner like this there's a quick a fast taxi turn almost hit us so i was surprised because almost hit tatang's leg not undo the the lutang footer and hit the car like bah, bah, bah. so it's like oh, oh. me i just like oh. i thought i i is i already hit by the car but tata bah, bah, bah. so i was amazed how tatang moves and then wow. every time he do he do demonstration at luneta he moves fast there's an incident one other uh, some uh, demo one time that he's trying to disarm the weapon of the opponent and then the the stick price going up and then on the way down just start lang, not looking at the stick just a tick it just hit the stick like this I was, oh, wow uh seems like there's, there's an ice in the top of his head 
So I like, I can't believe this guy. I can't believe this old man. So wow, so he kind of like... I impressed Tata. <laughs> Boko de Lobo? He just yeah. kind of just... Yeah. So, man, yeah, tech, go like this. That's that's crazy. <laughs> there's, also, there's also one instance that happened. There's a... Because we're, we're training. Then there's a big guy with a motorbike, big bike, stop and then look at us. And after that, the big guy come back. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're doing scream, sir. Uh, who is your instructor? Then we put it at that down, sitting in the side. Ah, that's our that's our teacher. So, so can can he can he able to move? Then yeah, try try to ask them. So, so the big guy, uh, or the, uh, try to accuse Tatang, and he's trying to tap Tatang here. When he tried to tap here, Tatang track and then go with the one hand, pin down the big guy. So the big guy. Like, Wow. Like, oh, wow. This old man is so strong. So this big arm, nothing to do with this yeah. big arm. Just that thing, roll that way. So just uh, completely just reflexive. Yeah. Wow. So wow. There's a lot of uh, um, uh, movement that I was amazed when 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 that thing moves that way. So, Maestro, how old were you when you first um, started going there? What age were you? That I'm a. Uh, First time that. Uh, what? Um, again, again. Yeah, sorry again. How old? Was yeah, how old was Maestro uh, Arnold when he started training with with them? Yeah, how old? Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, it's already twenty three years old. Because I'm. Oh, uh, okay. And what year? Okay, what year about? What year was this? What? Sorry. What year? Nineteen ninety three. I was oh, 93. So, okay, so you at least got to see him. Okay, so, all right, so yeah, he would have been, yeah, like uh, 89 or 90 or something, right? I mean, he was he was up there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. I mean, that, I'm just, that's, I tell you, some of those stories you guys, I, those are those are new ones I never heard. Who were a uh, taxi cab? <laughs> yeah, that's what I experienced with that. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot, but. There's a lot, but some other yeah. experience like some, Tony, Mr. Yeah. the other seniors. Yeah, they have they have more stories. More yeah. stories. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, because it's like because they were with him, you know, seventies, eighties. You know, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you think? Like, and again, this kind of falls into, I guess, the essence of um, KI. What um, what made him like? so graceful or, or just like simply direct directly simple i mean what just made him just so effective yeah usually uh i remember one time when tatang asked uh by the interviewer said what is the difference of your system against others then tata replied said i put common sense in my system well, that's how he answered back so I like, oh wow. So when I when I fall at uh, after a year of uh, training uh, illustration more, that's the time I, how I understand the common sense that that I'm talking about. So like, oh wow. So this is the the when when I understand the principles of illustration more. So that's the time I understand what that I'm talking about the the. Mm -hmm. Direct to the point, more simple yes, those, those simple movements, the practic uh, practicality of the movement, direct sure, to the point, yeah. direct to the point. No, mm -hmm. no, because it, stuff. yeah, no flowers. Because Tatang said, uh, also Tatang, I heard him when he talks, he said, like, uh, uh 50 techniques can be defeated against One. 10 techniques. Ten techniques. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just no, um, no waste in movement. Uh, you know, just, um, no, no, no time wasted. Waste yeah. So wherever mm. your wherever your weapon hand is, if high, low, or whatever, there's a strike from from that from, position. From, from uh, yeah, yeah, from that yeah, position. Yeah. No, understood. Yeah, yeah. Just um, yeah. Again, I mean, that's I can't even think of a better term to put that. Common sense. You know what I mean? That's a, that I haven't heard that one before uh, regarding him. That um. But like, how, how to the point, you know what I mean? You know, that's, wow. Um, yeah, common sense, jeez. Um, so, what about you, uh, okay. funny story? 
Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, so one, one time in Luneta, because uh, the grandmasters in Luneta have a big respect to Tatang. So they visited Tatang Sundays at Luneta, and they're doing some demonstration in front of Tatang. So you're like, oh, in my system, I have 12 strikes. And then he showed 12 strikes. And then the other instructor said, in my system, I have 24 strikes. So he showed 24 strikes. And then the third instructor said, in my system, I made it 36 strikes. So he did like 1, 2, 3, 4, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36. And then they asked Tatang, Tang, in your system, how many strikes do you have? And then Tata stood and picked up the stick. So like, he forms like this. And they said, like, OK, count my strike. I have a thousand of strikes. They go like this, one. Two, three, it's four, count, 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 nobody counting, and then Tata stops. You ask him, my strike, I have this, thousands of strikes like this, just doing with a, with a redonda strike. Arco, 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 Again, there's a demonstration of Tata. And then they said, uh, is it right? Uh, they said, uh, if you if you in, that's right. If you miss, then that's not right. So then they asked, Tang, what's the best right? The one that hits on in. If you miss, then that's not the best right. Yeah. So it's just Tagalog. So that's awesome. Tagalog, kapag tumama, tama. <laughs> that means if it actually hits your opponent, that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Then it, right, it, or if you, okay, okay. yeah, you, uh, I guess you can't argue that, right? <laughs> yeah. So then, it's, it's wrong. all right, what, um, I'm just trying to, okay, uh, Guru Duran, um, I know you started out with Master Tuber. What was your association and when did it, when did it uh, begin with um, Mong Tony? Me? Correct, yes. Oh, uh, well, when, because uh, Master Tooper and Master Tony would always train together, you know, they were like, they were, they were always, they were like, you know, training partners uh, very often. So I would, I would often see uh, Master Tony, um, like, whenever we go to the Luneta or when we're together, uh, we'd, uh, we'd always be with them. So it's like uh, Master Tony actually saw, uh, saw us growing up, all the students of Master Duper. He saw oh, one okay. of us grow yeah. up, you know. And okay. um, when, you know, when we would go to his gym in the Pinondo, <clears throat> but we would go like in the daytime because Master Tony's, uh, Master Tony's class for his own students was at night. So sometimes we would go uh, when we and and then because uh, we would also go for um, for our uh, our kung fu group is there also um, um, gocho uh, gocho kun is there so then you know then uh, master trooper would eat and you know we would all eat together um, after eating whatever we'd go to Luneta so we'd always be with master Tony and then actually um, one very last things um one of the very last things master Tooper told me in one of our one of our last uh, phone conversations when he was uh just before he passed away actually he said whatever you do don't uh, don't ever forget illustrissimo um mm -hmm. and when i'm when i'm gone you know go back to luneta or go um Go and train with uh, Master Tony. So that's what I did when uh, when Master when Master Tooper, you know, passed away. Um, I mean, because I always want to learn. I mean, I always want to keep learning and you know keep training. And uh, sure. who else, you know, uh, who else can train me except uh, Master Tony? So when I went to Luneta, it was like you know, it was it it was like. I was going back to see, like an uncle, you know, because he was always yeah, so right. That you thought growing up, so, you know, okay. and and no matter right. what, 
uh, whoever the student of, you know, Master, Master Tupper was, uh, Master Tony would always accept them with open arms and a big smile and, come on, let's train and, you know, no, you know, no, uh, no heirs or anything like that. It is, you know, just like a family. That's why I feel, I feel so grateful that, I mean, um, I am, I'm both, uh, well, of course, I mean, the lineage of uh, Master Tupper because I spent more than 35 years with him, you know, since 1980-something, but yeah. I still, of course, I still want to continue my training. Yeah. Of course, I'm still doing the uh, Bakan stuff now, like the, the Sagasa and the, the Gocho. And, uh, of course, we support, I mean, uh, we're supporting, of course, the group of uh, Brandon, um, Brandon Ricketts. <laughs> Here, yeah, here in the yeah, Philippines yeah. and his and his group there in the states, uh, you know, Guru Jeff and uh, Guru Vico, in in yeah, San Diego. Yeah. Uh, in, I think it's Vico fantastic that you guys are going so, to that you guys are supporting one another. You know, I think that's, and, I think and, that's uh, great. Even even when uh, Master Tupper was alive, when he was still here in the Philippines, and they would be together with Master Tony, and actually, and we would train. He would ask Master Tony to check. Oh, Ton. Uh, paki, uh, paki check naman yung mga bata ko. That means, Ton, um, uh, can you check the movements of my guys? You know, so they would. That's they fantastic. were like brothers, eh? you know. Yeah. They were like brothers. So you know, it just made sense for me to train again with uh, Master Tony, and then when he passed away, it just also made sense for us to kind of both get you with uh, nice back and group or uh, Master Tupper's, mm. you know, lineage and, you know, Kiro or, or the, the lineage of uh, Master Tony, yeah. you know. No, absolutely. So, Maestro Arnold, what was, um, what did, um, again, with, you know, as far as what Duran was touching on, um, what can you tell, I mean, what was your, um, when did it begin with you with um, Mom Tony? I know, was it right from the get-go when you joined a group where you are kind of under Montoni then, or did it happen over time? Okay, so this is it. So after Tatang's death, 1987, uh, we stayed in Luneta. And then until one time, Montoni visited us in Luneta. He saw me doing some uh, sparring in Luneta. And then I think he was impressed when he saw me spar. So this is how they invited me. Like, hey boy, come on. Uh, come to Binundu Gym and spar with Tom. So that time, I only heard the name Tom because he was the first student of Master Tony. So like, okay. yeah. So because I'm not afraid of sparring because we do always spar at the Neta during the time. We spar with the live stick. Uh, there's no paddy stick that time. We can afford to buy some helmets, so yeah, we go sparring, but uh, we always go uh, hand, hand hitting. So I accept his invitation because I'm working somewhere close to the Binundu gym. So after the, after the, after my work, so I run rush to the gym. That was nine. I started in 19, uh, eight, uh, 1998. So that I started uh, joining group. So when I was at the gym, I was sitting down. Silent, and then Mr. Tony told me, "So what are you? What are you doing? So just only sitting and watching us. So it's like, what should I do? Say, come and uh, join. So that's the time I started. I joined training with Master Tony and Tom. So that because that was a private gym of Tom Gitang. Oh, okay. So few few people were invited there. So that's the uh, that's the story how I started training with Master Tony since 1989 and 1998 until this. 2014 when he passed away. Before his passing. Um, what can you, um, Michael Arnold, what can you tell us uh, about his teaching approach? Like, I mean, like what, um, you know, I guess, what did he try, you know, overall his teaching approach and what did he um, try to impress upon, you know, you guys as students? I mean, approach me. Uh, para master Tony sa pagtuloy niya. Tapos ano yung ano yung uh, para sa emphasis 
Okay, so yeah. uh, this is how Master Tony teaches at the gym. First, he is more on uh, his awareness striking technique. You must be a good striker than a good blocker, he said. Because if you if you just only blocking, and when you strike, you strike is lousy. There's nothing, he said. So you, you build, you'll be you know, first you'll be a better striker. And then next, he said, you have uh, your footwork. So as a, uh, after the striking, and then he goes footwork. And then next step is footwork, uh, strikes and footwork coordination. This should be a coordination of the footworks and the, uh, the strikes and the footwork. So okay. that's how we started. So we started with the long range, and then there's a medium range, and then this will be a close range. So you should know how to fight in an open space. You, should, you, you know how to fight in a tight space and you know how to fight in a close distance so that's how how he taught us uh, when it comes to uh, training in, in, in illustration more so when um far as the class structure and this could be for both of you what can you i mean i i understand what he was stressed and focused but like on any given class I guess, what, what do you consist of? Like beginning, middle, did it end with sparring? Or, I mean, like, what can you tell us about the class format? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. We start with the, we start with the strikings. Properly try different kind of strikings. And then, same with the footworks. And then application. So he, he gave us, uh, he told us some drills movement and then show that's the application of what we're doing so for example okay we do this one the retrada and trocada foot tracks and there's the mm -hmm. present and then after that he showed oh this is the application for that so he explained after that so we should move first and then we showed the application of the of the movement okay was he was he big on and duran what's um how about your input? Was he big on sparring, hand hunting, the whole bit? Are you talking about Master Cooper? Are you talking about Master Cooper? Uh, no, Mang Tony. Dean? Yeah? No. Hello? We lost. Yeah. We lost yeah. a bit. Uh, are you talking about the side of Master Cooper? No, no, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Master Tony. Oh, we lost you for Oh, we lost, we lost you. What? Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Master Tony? Oh no, what's happening? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's happening again. The audio drop. Oh no. Like, uh, uh, they said they had it fixed. Uh, the audio is really bad. Uh, you know what we're gonna have to do? Oh, there, there, uh, oh, there, there. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. Oh, okay, okay. I thought we had it because they said they fixed the issue. I thought we had an, a resemblance of last night. You know, what I was asking was, um, uh, your experience with Montoni, uh, was it kind of similar to what Maestro Arnold was saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were asking about Maestro Arnold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Um, Maestro. Master yeah, Tony. What, yeah, uh, what, uh, what uh, Master Arnold was doing. Oh, sorry. The audio is... Uh, Again, the, uh, it's choppy. Could be you guys are getting a lot okay. of people. Uh, your audio okay. We can hear you. Oh, there, there. Is that better? You can't. It stopped. You're not moving. <laughs> yeah, you're not moving. <laughs> you're not moving. <laughs> move, move, move. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not moving. You're not moving. No, no. I could be, as long as you're hearing me, um, like what could be is that you guys are getting more people jumping on the bandwidth. My uh, it's probably the bandwidth that's just being, you, um, the, yeah. you know, with people jumping on. So, no, but during, uh, during oh, can, you, can, you, um, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, my question was, um, what was your class experience like with Mon Tony? Uh, well, uh, 
same. Very, like he will show, like, well, actually, yeah, he would show us, uh, he would show us moves, and then he would show us drills, and we'll do that, then he would show us the application, mm -hmm. and then we we'll just keep on, you know, repeating, repeating, repeating. Also, oh, hands yeah, uh, but 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 the same as what um, uh, Coach Arms, um There's a, there's a big emphasis on you know placement, uh, footwork, mm -hmm. you know pivoting, hip movement. You know, like Master Tuper also hips, hips, hips. When hips, you strike, yeah. you have to strike with your hips. Yeah. You know, strikes and footwork uh, mainly was the was the was the focus. Okay, but okay. Master Tuper. It was usually all sparring. <laughs> sparring, 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 sparring. Okay, yeah. So was it um, when you so when you mentioned sparring, uh, I'm assuming hand hunting in the beginning. Yeah, uh, first we'll uh, start with hand sparring. Sometimes with armor or no armor. I mean, in the '80s, we would just wear like our slippers on our hands. Because that all the year, it's like the protective, uh, the Mako hand thing didn't come out yet, right? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. After, the, before that, we would just use either nothing or we'd use our slippers. Wait, oh uh, one God. second. I'll show you, I'll show you something. Show you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, in, in, in our side, Master Tony, Master Tony will not allow us to go sparring if you don't know how to strike. You see, practice striking first before you go sparring. Oh, you would make sure your strikes were yeah, flat. Because okay. the, 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 the sparring hop is like bang, 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 bang. So yeah, so you're kind of wide. And, yeah. 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 So yeah. practice with the technique so so that if you have a nice striking technique, you have a good timing. So you mm -hmm. can get the, 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 the good timing. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Sure, sure. <laughs> so <coughs> when, when there wasn't when there wasn't that uh, Lameco uh hand guard yet yeah yeah so they use uh nothing of course we just uh, use nothing or if we were wearing slippers just your normal everyday flip-flops oh my gosh we do this we do this and we put the stick here oh my goodness how oh, wow that's that's a, a first rubber, rubber band here so yeah, that's right. It's covering your, uh, covering your wrist area. Yeah, you have to put the rubber band here. But then you're forced to really hold. And if you let go, you you know, you can't let go because the stick is in the, in like the thong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So that's how we, that's how we. So wow. When the, when the Lameco hand, hand guard wasn't, wasn't available. But then, but then. The, the bad side there is now now we're barefoot <laughs> you know yeah we're barefoot the, wearing anything the the uh, pain yeah. factor yeah 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 so, so the 80s that's, wow the 80s. i never that's the first i never uh i never seen a scandal be used in that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's like old school like really old school wow that is so so Wow. How interesting. <laughs> so then, um, okay, let's, you know, obviously with the unfortunate passing among Tony, Maestro Arnold, you kind of um, took over the Manila group. Um, is that, uh, I'm assuming that was Juan Tony's wishes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take over because uh, I'm Manila group. Actually, actually uh, this is the story how I was uh, convinced by Master Tony to teach. Okay, so a little bit a uh, sad story because we've been together for since 1998. Mm, a long time. He, he, he taught me how to move and he, he teach me how to teach. Okay, so when there were visitors that time, he allowed me to teach and he just watching on the side. So he gave me some tips. So after the, the, the teaching, he said, oh, next time, aware of the footwork, aware of the hand movements. So he correcting me after the training. He not, he's not like, 
correct me correct me in front of the student so every time there's a teacher because he has a knee problem that time already he he's his knee problem for a long time so he cannot stand long hours to train so he always invited me to to be on his side if there were foreigners coming oh so they help teach okay, okay. yeah so uh, when, when, when he he's into like uh, ano ba, I so, too, he was sick already. He was sick already. He didn't want to go to hospital. Lots of people convinced him to go to the hospital. But he doesn't want to go to hospital. He said, like, I'm okay, I'm happy what happened now. I'm happy what ha uh, I'm happy to die because I know uh, what happened to the Christmas. Said. So I convinced him to go to the hospital. And I said, like, no, no, you have to teach. When I'm gone, you have to teach because no one can teach in the night anymore. Because our friend is supposed to be the the, uh, the, the, the successor is Tom Dita. But Tom doesn't want to teach. And Tom He's went to Canada. Can he, can he was already in Canada, wasn't he? Yes. So, so Tom went to Canada. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. he told me, no one can teach now in Luneta except you. So this is I said, like, okay, so we have a deal. Okay, I will teach Luneta if you go to hospital and then it's hard to convince him to go to hospital he's, he's dying no i want to go to hospital but i'm okay i'm okay don't worry about me i'm i'm, I'm, I'm. No, no no i will not teach illustrissimo if you don't want to if you don't go to the hospital because when time comes people ask me what i'm doing what are you doing with master tone i see nothing about you so i'm not happy teaching underneath so so i convince him like eight in the morning and to until four o'clock in the afternoon he keep on talking and yeah it's like it's like a drama he he was he was crying he said like i'm okay i'm willing i'm accept my 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 time he's crying so i cannot see i know he's, he's a brave man he's strong lots of people speak but this time he's crying so okay Mong Tony. so it's already four o'clock i have nothing to to do Nothing to go, uh, you're not going to the hospital. So, could you say, I remember the first time, the first time that you invited me to train with you. After the training, I give you money. And you didn't accept the money. He said, like, no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing to give you the money. He said, don't push me the money. If I accept the money, I don't want to see your face anymore. It's like, why? It's like, I consider you as a friend. So, we're friends mm -hmm. from now on accept my payment for him. So that's it. Then I told Mantoni, Mantoni, remember those those days that you don't accept my 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 payment because we're friends. Now right. I, I'm I'm offering you my time. I don't have money but only the, the only thing that I offer you is my time. I'll be with you in the hospital whatever happens. Money don't 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 worry about money there's, there's lots of students once help you they're sending money for you but mm. if you turn me down this time to go to you to go to you to, to go uh to try to convince you to go to the hospital we're not friends so i do not so i have to step out not looking back at you forget you and forget illustration i will bring my family back to cebu and looking for a, a better job for my family so yeah. I, I just crying when i left this home so at my house my phone ringing Arnold, come, take me up, bring me to hospital. So I rushed back, driving with my motorbike. And like, okay, let's get back. I said, no, no, I want to ride in your motorbike. So he's, he's weak like that. So I rushed back to the, to the hospital with Master Tony and then convinced the doctor that, look, just tell this. My, and so I said, this is my uncle. Tell my uncle in case if he stays in the they only three days because master Tony doesn't want to stay in the hospital so we know let's check with you hospital for three days so master Tony looking at me they're like oh there's only three days don't worry i will not leave you there's only three days okay so that's that's our deal when he accept my offer that he go to the hospital and then i said okay i will teach illustration now so that's, uh, he was in the hospital at night, so I was with him at night. Then 
Uh, I accept classes and Luneta, then rush back to the hospital. Master Tommy, this is the famous. Oh, I just see that. No, that's for you. No, no, okay, go half. Half for you, half for me. Uh, I take care with Master Tony at the time. So this, this is, we, we agree. Okay, I will teach. I will take care of you. So <laughs> that's it. So that's how, that's how I continue or sorry, how I'm teaching in Luneta because that is wish. Yeah, wow. Well, I'll see your, uh, from all accounts, I'll see you're doing well. Um, and, um, uh, when I'm, so you're, so, so basically, um, you basically run the Manila Group, quote unquote, the Lanetta Group, Manila Group. Am I, am I correct in that? The, you're the chief instructor. Right, so he, he, he put me as the chief instructor under his lineage. So okay. I want to make it clear that I'm, 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 I'm doing the, under the lineage of Master Tony. Just, right, just under his lineage. Just, 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 right. Right. Only the lineage yeah. of Master Tony. Correct. Under okay. The okay. Of Tony. I do have one question from a viewer. What does the man array mean on the symbol? What, is, what, is that, what does that mean? What? Sorry, Dean. Sorry again. On on the symbol uh, representing uh, Montoni's lineage, what does the man? What does the symbol of the manta ray represent? Uh, the stingray. The stingray. Stingray. <laughs> stingray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a stingray. Because Master Tony yeah. doesn't want those logos, uh, dead logos like skulls. And uh, Master Tony is doing Master Tony. Well, Master Tony said he don't want those those dead. Uh, uh, logos he said so he was a uh, 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 like the meaning is like life so this life this is uh stingray it means silent but dangerous oh okay, so okay. The, don't touch with hatred and then you will react okay <laughs> so, i always thought that was yeah, kind of so mean, yeah. so that, that's, i always wonder you know myself that, why that <laughs> you know that strike it's called a whip it's a whip like this. It's a whip. Oh, the whip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So that's supposed to be the tail. That's, oh, that's okay. supposed to be the like the oh, stingray. The whip. Ah. The stingray, the stingray. That's the we take. Okay. Strike. Oh, clever. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I always wondered myself why. You know, I, I thought it was kind of neat. I just um, I knew it had some meaning regarding. Sorry, you know, sorry, 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 sorry. The audience. Yo, the audio, the audio is choppy. Yeah. Choppy. Oh, okay. No, no. I always thought the symbol was kind of neat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, Maestro yeah, Arnold. This one uh, is clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is the stingray. So green means the life. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, the green means the life. So much like okay. like the green color because it's a uh, life. It's talking about life, and then you see the stars here, the asterisk is the percent of the footworks, the walong apa footworks, the eight steps of the footworks of the Okay. Yeah. No need. No, that's uh. Wow. Um. So, Maestro Arnold, as far as your students go. What do you try still? Do you completely 100% follow Monsoni's teaching? Do you emulate what he does, or have you taken on a different approach? Yeah, I'm following 100% because this is what he said to me. He said, "Now, no, please don't change the the way how I uh, the the what you learn from me." He said, "Just teach." The the uh, the old preserve the 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 system the curriculum that uh, I've been taught to you, so I never changed the system. There's other some more addition of the movie, of course. As you go years of experience of teaching, you like evolve something like that. Yeah. So you okay? I can't do this because actually this is how Master Tony's uh, 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 system when he teach. He he, the, uh, he do a lot of uh, execution of the technique. 
it depends upon the situation. Uh, okay. okay. So there's a lot of uh, execution. For example, like a simple go pluma. So uh, pluma, this is how, how this is how naturally same in the video with Tata. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is pluma serrada. I go like this. But sometimes I go like this, and then it happens that your hand is here, so go with a cut. The video with here. Okay. Or sometimes you do the pluma like this, and it goes like this. No, no need for you to change because this is the teaching or this way. So you can go cut directly or you can go with other side like this. So okay. or after the pluma, you could go back with the stop. If oh, well, that you end with this position, no need for you to, oh, no, no, this is the teaching. So it happens that here and then you go with the thrust. Now it's happened that after the pluma, you pull back like this, then you go with the strike. Mm. So it creates a lot of uh, execution of the technique. Variations. The vari I mean the variations of the technique, right? Okay. Well, um, awesome. No, I, that, that's wonderful to hear that you're basically carrying on uh, your tradition and, and all that. Um, it it, it kind of, I mean, obviously some change is good, but something should be left alone. And it um, sounds like you, you know, you're taking the, the correct approach, obviously. Um, what, um, can you just tell me the hype around KI? Like, um, um, you know, like what is the, I don't know if hype is the right word because it's not like we're, at, we're trying to grow it in the States. It's not like it's overly popular compared to the other system. But I guess maybe, um, there, you know, maybe the recent, Maybe I should say better yet, the recent hike. What do you think it's attributed to regarding KI? Is it because it's all predominantly edge weapons? Do you think that's it? Uh, okay, for. Why does everybody think they know this? Right. Why does everyone want to learn in the system? Uh, I want to learn yeah. Okay, so I think because of the practicality of the movement. Mm -hmm. But we don't practice those unnecessary movements because that thing advises us. You didn't. You don't need to practice that if you cannot use that in a. If you cannot use that in a real situation, you're just wasting your time. Yeah, that's right. Why would you practice? Yeah, I'm yeah. with that. So <laughs> if, if you observe some movements, of the just everything is practical. Mm. No flower movements, no wasting time. So especially if you really in going into it and then starting right. understand with the with the system, are you really in love? <laughs> the industry more. Like, yeah, I, I tell you, I mean, like to me, it's, you know, and I've been, you know, I'm not saying no word, obviously, the pedigree of you gentlemen, but you know, I've been around the block, you know, different systems, and to me, there's no system that just cuts to the chase, you know what I mean? You know, it's just like, you're not doing stuff that wouldn't, like, necessarily take place in the fight, like, you know, like, um, so I've always appreciated that, you know, I still do, actually. I mean, so. um, Guru Duran, what can you say about Coach Arnold um, overall? Um, I, obviously, I know you support him, but uh, what about his, his teaching and all that? What do you like? Oh, wow. What do I say about Coach Arnold? You know. <laughs> hey, make sure that guy didn't come back in, okay? <laughs> No, you know, but you know, I, you know, okay. I'm gonna, I wanna tell you like, I wanna tell you a story. Um, right after Master Tony passed away, so I was talking to to Arnold, and I was saying because he was, uh, it, it was this time where he was saying, I'm not gonna teach anymore. I don't wanna teach. You know, I'm just gonna go back to Cebu and everything. I told him, you know, you're you're so good. It would be a slap in the face to your master if you didn't teach and continue oh, what, what he what what he taught you. He's such a good teacher, really. I mean, I mean, of course. I mean, our masters aren't with us anymore. My master, you know, Master Tuper is not with with us anymore. Master Tony is not with us anymore. Of course, we still have uh, the other seniors, you know, Master Yuli, but you know he's uh, he's in Cebu and all that. So, but our 
like the people who I trained with, you know, directly, they're not here anymore. Yeah, sad. There's one with all the knowledge and all the skill, you know, I actually, I got mad at him. And, um, and I remember we had just come from the house of Master Tony, visiting Master Tony. Uh, and where, where I think we had a year after that just to talk what, you know, what's, what's going to happen after uh, Master Tony dies. And actually, that's when I started uh, like the Makati group, you know, to, I mean, of course, to learn also, I mean, you could train yeah. and also to help him out, you know, to make him get him more used to teaching. You know, I mean, he was already used to, you know, to teaching in Luneta. Because he's he's so good. I mean, he knows it all. Yeah. You know, and, but I mean, he's so humble, and you know, and he knows it all, and it's like assuming, very humble. That's why it it's it's actually that uh, kind of humility that I got mad at him because he didn't want to teach. Yeah. Right. No. <laughs> so like, no. You better he, teach. He, you better teach. It's a track of quality. Know, yeah. You know, uh, you know everything. <clears throat> so you know. So no, I'm so happy that I get to, you know, I mean, I get to train with him. You know, we always train together. You know, I mean, I'm happy to learn. I mean, I'm happy to learn with Coach Arnold because learning from him, it's like, like I'm learning from Master Tony. It's like as mm. if Master Tony was there. Yeah, that's like, right. For example, like if I trained with Brandon or Bruce. Yeah. It's like. Like it's like I'm training with Master Tooper. Mm. It's like that. It'll bring back everything. Yeah. So I'm so happy that he's teaching. I know you. Could, it'd be he's fantastic. Guy. You guys all to get together. He, he could drink. Yeah. We used to drink. You know, whenever we train, we, we do you know seminars out of town and you know Barakay. Uh, part of the seminar actually is uh, seeing how much you can drink. And this guy would drink anyone under the table, <laughs> and also to sing. You know karaoke. You can oh, karaoke. Yeah. You don't know how to yeah. sing karaoke. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you don't know how to sing. Don't know how to sing. You can go yourself. He's the tallest person. Oh, that's too funny. Good yeah. singer. Yeah. He has a nice voice. And he's a really? good dancer, too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Was that the answer to your question? No, is that... Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I mean, he's a great teacher. He's a great, great teacher. Lance Velez. Master Arnold is one of the best teachers I've ever had, bar none. He would make Master Tony proud. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, that's um, very, very true. Nelson, hey, Nelson. That's, that's very true. That's, that's true. Um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's true. yeah, Jamie, I'm not sure what's going on. Why are you getting bounced out? That should not be occurring. Hopefully. Um, sorry, Dean. Again, sorry, Dean. Do this again. No, 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 again, Dean. Sorry, Dean. No, I was just uh, talking. Yeah, um, which which part did you miss? Uh, the last part. Oh, the audience. But, um, somebody was saying they were getting bounced out, so I was just uh, talking to them, saying I'm not sure why that's happening. Um. So um. Okay. Okay. What is um? Okay. What, uh, Maestro Arnold? Um, why is the feeding such an important aspect in KI? Being like the feeding, you know, why is that so important? Mm -hmm. why, why is the feeding so important? Ah, uh, you asked me why feeding is so important. Yeah, like why is it so prevalent in KI more so than I see in other systems? I mean, I have an idea, but for the viewers, why is that so important? Yeah, okay, so this is it. Okay, so you must give, like, for example, if you, you, you're you teaching and you want to, uh, you want to, your student, execute again, for example, pluma. Okay, mm -hmm. so if the thrust is straight inside, okay, so that's the right time that you can apply your pluma. Now, if you do a wrong target of your thrust, it's outside and the students try to apply pluma there's an accident happen because he moves towards the stick so you must target 
the actual the, the actual target. Mm. Okay, like another example is like you use this price movement. So the target of the right of the of the Friday is if the target is the temple. But if you cut higher than your head, you miss the Friday because that's the wrong target. So that's the wrong feeding. Okay. So that's why here we teach. I will you the right angle of the target. When I say I targeting you angulo, I give you angulo. I'm not. I cut you here. I'm hitting you here. I'm hitting you here. I'm not hitting away from you because yeah, right. You're going. I watch the situation. They're stopping away from partner, and their partner and moving. They, so and they stop the attack. And they just stop the attack. Stop the stopping attack. away instead of go straight. They stopping away the way. Yeah. So you can't yeah. execute yeah. The, the technique uh, properly because yeah. the feeder is not uh, feeding properly. So they say that it's like practice makes perfect. So how can be perfect if I'm if my target is strong? So I give a perfect target. So it makes a perfect practice that makes perfect, right? Yeah, <laughs> so no, no. The Where's the, um... the technique? Where's the like thing? Or... <coughs> like. Like a lot of people think that this this block works, but it doesn't work because the that the feeder stop. will stop. So of course it works. So yeah. when I go the right target, it goes here. Yeah, so it goes here. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. And yeah. and the guy says, oh, like that. And then if it's strong, it's gonna go. It's gonna blow. No, it's gonna collapse the structure. Yeah, yeah. The, the responsibility of the feeder. It's just as important because he should attack, like he should really attack the actual target. Yeah, yeah but you, no, no, understood. Um, stop the attack because if you stop the attack, you can do everything. Yeah, yeah, right. If you hold it in air, yeah, you can, you can fly anything, do anything. Yeah, so if you hold it there like that, you know. I mean, of course, mm. you can do whatever you want. Blah 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 blah. This arm, yeah. this arm, this arm. Of course, you can do that because the guys just. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, standing. Business. Yeah, no resistance. You can do all of that. So the guy has so to then be the, he has to, you know, actually to, yeah, be direct. to get you. Yeah, so which is now? Um, so that's when you're, the, the real technique will come out. So okay, for okay. We also, sir, so when, when we train, I, 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 I tell my student when we train, for example, I, I'm training with, with Duran. I'm the, I'm the feeder. Mm -hmm. So he's, do, he's doing the, uh, executing the technique. So I told Duran that it doesn't mean that you're the one who only training. I also training with my target. So every day when I teach it, it seems like I'm practicing also because I'm keeping angle of the target. So I'm practicing my try, then you're practicing your execution. Okay. That's how we practice. Okay. No, that's no, fantastic. So so obviously there's an importance of feeding with the intent. The intent to hit. So if the person doesn't do anything, they're getting hit. Is that is that fair? Well, what's sorry, Dean, you, you got cut. What I'm saying is with the feeding, there has to be feeding with intent to the exact target for the student to get yes, of course. the real you know, the real thing. And if they don't do anything, I mean the consequences they get hit, but it's a great learning curve. Is that fair? Sorry, Dean. It's, again, it's choppy. again, it's choppy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, no. I'll, I'll be, no worries. Um, no. What I was saying was obviously the intent of the feed is is uh, very important um, for the student to get realistic. Yes. You know, and that seems like you guys uh, yes. trust if, that. If you're wrong, you're not going to be wrong. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just see in a lot of systems, the intent is not there. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. How about now? Can you hear us, Dean? Yeah, I can definitely hear you guys. Hello. Yeah. Dean, can you hear us? Uh, yeah. Well, it's really choppy. Can you hear us? Are we clear? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but sometimes, sometimes it goes choppy. Sometimes it. Yeah. Goes it's just. 
it, it's I'm sure more people are probably using bandwidth in your area. So, um, but yeah, but did you got you guys caught the last part on the intent, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's um, what um, before because I don't want to lose you guys. So I'm almost thinking if you guys could sum up quick before we get to the demo. What could you tell the viewer as far as the essence of KI? Like, what is the essence? Yeah, just, it's just do it simple. Not practical and do it simple. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Use your common sense. Yeah, yeah. I love that common sense. Hit the nearest target. Hit the nearest target, and then always put your body into position to get the best shot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they try to move it as one count movement. It's not one and two. Just only one. Yeah, right. So everything yeah. there. The position of the body is there right away. So you have to get advantage positioning against your opponent. Okay. What it, it seems like, again, I've, I've done different systems, but I can honestly say this system, along with the Mako, really seems to stress perception to reaction. Um, what's, your guys, what's your guys' thoughts on that? What? Sorry, Dean. Sorry again. It's, it's, it's um, again. It just seems this system and Lameco really seem to stress perception to reaction and recovery. What's your guys' thoughts on that? Yeah, um, because because I think the practicality and the being straightforward with your with your technique, I think that's I mean it's just gonna it's just going to come out. And mm. that's you know developed over lots of uh, lots of sparring, you know lots of sparring and uh, lots of you know repetition of the movements. So, so you don't have to think anymore, you know. So you can just uh, your 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 body will just uh, sort of move automatically because you've done the move you know thousands and thousands of times. Right, so, right, you know, right. You know, Obviously, um, I couldn't really hear your question. No, 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 it doesn't. Obviously, with the feeding with intention, obviously, is going to enhance all those attributes as well. Um, is that fair? With the feeling, uh, with the feeding with intent, sorry, correct. Yeah, I mean, that's going to enhance those attributes as well. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, yeah, okay. Because no, no. We try to feed. I mean, uh, uh, slowly. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll feed slowly and slowly and slowly. Then we'll build up the intent. Right. You know, yeah. Exactly. yeah. And until the point comes where it's like almost like the real thing already. Mm. Right. You know? Right. You know, no. Slow, slow, yeah. slow, slow. Then it gets faster and faster and faster, and then the strength right. gets stronger and stronger. You know. And so therefore, you're. Like, you're... Yeah. You right. Know, yeah. Yeah. The attributes is go up as well. Right. Yeah. Um, let me see there. All right, I'm ready. I can't wait. How do you guys feel about uh, jumping to the demo? All right. Demo though. Okay, so what do you want to see? What do you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to see? Well, I'm just thinking within the conf with the confinement of the space you got, I'm thinking anything medium and close range. Like whatever techniques you want to show from feeds, does that help? I hope. We'll just fix the camera. So how how how's the space? Yeah, yeah, no. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is we show some demo about the this is uh Kiro movement. 
under master to this lineage okay so i want to to make it clear <laughs> okay so this is the distance so this is the close range okay medium range and then point to point is the long range okay so this is the distances so since the space is mm -hmm. in over yeah i'll wait long there i'll just move the camera a bit okay There. There. Huh? All right. Okay, so it's here. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so this is it. So, so every angle of the strike, there should be a corresponding uh, uh, defense, defenses or techniques that you should apply. Okay. Okay, so because this is it, I, I sometimes I see some videos on YouTube. They try to force to, to execute the technique in a wrong uh, in a wrong situation. So this is what I mean. Huh? For example, uh, you're executing Kadina Rian. Okay, sometimes they go like this. The hand is there. When he attack, the position and then do that way. Okay. So look at the position of the weapon. They go like this. Then it 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 looks like it's applicable again because the attacker stops. But if you really attack, like boom, it bounces back. If you yeah. position the Kalina Real. Right. Okay. So the right position of the Kalina Real is don't bend this one. You already go like this. Look at the position of the hand, they go like this. Again, okay. power is straight like that. So the Kalina Real is applied if the attack is straight okay so if the attack is real then that's the in the real here okay that's a in the real because if the attack goes down harder like this if you try to force cadena real it's bouncing back yeah okay, okay it's not the time that you use the cadena real if the angle is if the cut is angle so that's only straight cut because the technique is goes like this, it's here. And then you turn that way. Okay? So, of course, it requires good work. I'm not just only stationary. So, from that, I have to move to the side like this. And then my left hand is checking in case mm -hmm. strike back. So, this uh secured here if it tries to strike back. So, I already check when I'm, when I'm doing the in the Okay? So, another... Also, this I usually uh, hear like sombra, sombra, sombra. Okay, so this is the the sombra position is goes like this. Okay, so if the attack goes like this here, this is how to achieve the sombra. Okay, so I'm not just waiting here because again it passes back. It's good. So yeah, moving. Just fire up and cut this way. Mm -hmm. Now, if the cut goes angulo, angle like this, wider. If I do sombra. It's not applicable anymore. So we call it crossada. So this is crossing of the swords. The position is going like this. The sombrada position is going like this. All right. Okay. So the crossada of this uh, uh, kilo is here. So when he attacks, he tries to hit the temple. That's the cut. I go, I'm not doing one and two. So everything is one. And they look at the position. Right. <laughs> Fishing right away. If it tries to strike, then you need for me an extra movement because I'm really in the position. Mm. Okay. So the Australia can be applied if that back is planchada. Okay. So it's here. So we're really not just like too much like this. Mm. Or again, we're always aware of the distance because we're always aware of the left hand. So we do Australia, we're not too much close because he has a left hand can punch him. Okay. So the test does, if I'm stay with the medium, with the cut, I stay with the medium. When I measure, still and the medium distance. I'm not, uh, the distance is not broken. It's not too much close like this or too much far like this. Okay. okay. Did you, can you see my, my uh, feet? Yeah. Okay. So how to maintain the distance? So if I do medium, I have to step sideways. Because once I stick in, it means I'm going close. 
head. Mm. So in the distance, I step sideways from this position, look at this position, so still remain in the medium distance. You slide over. Okay, okay. Yes, so I'm not, I'm not, the, the distance is not broken. So still. So executing the Australia, it's here. Don't go force to force. Okay? So it's deflection. So we're not using blocking. We're using deflection. So we're not go force against force. Yes. So, so I'm not applying too much force like this. Maestro, okay? I do have a question. So I just want to touch upon for the viewers because you said something I think that's uh, worth mentioning. It was always told to me there's no blocking, it's deflecting, and it, it should be a third of the energy. Yeah. Is that fair? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. And take note when you do the Australia. Again, this not be doing like this, it's bending because again, it's uh it's weak. Yeah. So Almost doing like this was straight. So okay. If you position like this, this is blade against blade. Yeah. And you do like this. So if I go like this, this is blade against blade. But if I go like this, it's the flat side. I hit the slide and cut. Right, no, you're coming over. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because you just want to. Thank you. This. this is how I watch on YouTube. Make okay. The position and you go like this. So we had try to force. It's bent like this. Mm. Okay, so it should be the the the, the wrist should be straight, not in that right. position. This way. Okay, so we need the Australia to avoid your your opponent uh, cannot cut right away. So from this position, you push down. Okay, not mm. just because if I do like this and push that way, he's able to strike back. Mm. So I have to destroy his position. Yeah. Okay. So we can't recover. See, down, and my weapon is close to him. Mm. I'm not bringing too much, so my weapon, my hand is always tight. Okay. Okay, now, if the attack changes like this, angle. if I use Australia, if you really go in, it slides to my finger. Yeah, because he's sliding down. Yeah, if I go here, it goes by. Yeah, slide right. Kind of give him a highway. Okay. This is how we form vertical. Okay. We're not doing this one because this one, this is the real blocking. I go force against force. Mm. If my opponent is stronger, bigger than me, this is that. Right. So I accept it. It's 50 50. I accept the 50 and throw the 50. Okay. okay. So this is how I slice my weapon. One. So it's there right away. Okay. Okay. So my hand is here. Give me the same angle of the attack, but my hand is in now. So if I still use the vertical slate, okay. So there's an uh, exact uh, uh, defense for this one. So this is we call crusada and right here. So I'm not go again for four. So uh, slice the fifty and then mm -hmm. cut with the fifty. So it goes fifty fifty. So the same. Because here my hand is here, I have the crossada. Again, I'm not doing this way against the straight, and then I push down and send my weapon to my opponent. Okay, because you saw the hand is there, and it before doing the Friday like this. Yeah. The hand is here. Ah, oh, I like this too small because the nice form of the Friday. That's the right one. The right up. So that's why the crossada designed for this situation. The Friday designed because it, I'm here in this situation. Like right, where your hand is. Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me, uh, I just have another question, Maestro. Uh, I mean, this is fantastic, by the way. Um, is there, what about being like, are there different things you would do based on being early on time and late? In other words, the Crusada coming maybe when you're late, is, is that fair? Am I, am I correct? Okay, so. Late of my day, uh, like this one, like 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 the, the the pluma. So it's like sometimes we call it a shit move. I'm surprised. Oh shit! Yeah. So, but in other that's like me all the time. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, uh, me, me too. <laughs> because there's a lots of here, so it could be thrust. If there's a quick thrust, I have no time to to 
to do the sampal or the kabayan. So if I need to do food, because so I oh shit, I'm doing my luma. Oh, so it's so like late. Okay. 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 So Is that I true? And then I slow. Then I go my sampal, we call it slap, or from this position, I have the kabayan. We call it kabayan. Oh. So okay. I can do my florete. Oh, fascinating. Oh, okay. That, that was fantastic. Thank, thank you. Now, if, if it's out, it's wide, then I use my spray Okay, so the angle changes, the defenses also change. Right, right. My, my yeah. first attack was like this. My second attack was like that. Was wider, so he could... So wider, that's so that's 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 that. That's what I'm telling before, that you try to enforce executing the technique of Pluma, but the target is wrong. They go like this. Boom, that's how you get started. Right, so there you need some power. Yeah, so this is a corresponded uh, technique for each of the angle. Okay, like this one. You trust inside. My hand is here. Hmm. So the closest difference that I can do is the vertical, because the vertical pa'uyun. Okay, pa'uyun is going with the flow. So I'm guiding this whip on this side and going the flow and cut. Okay, now, oh, it gives me the same angle of the attack. But my hand now is here. Mm. Out. So if I try to force to do this one again, I'm late. So it's not applicable anymore. So since right. my hand is here, then I go the paoyon technique. So before you did the poyon, would have been before you did the poyon, would have been a some pao bump? Uh, well, no. If if the attack is coming here, it's hard for me to do some part because it goes in like this. Now if too much, if my hand is here, then there's a time I go sampal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So I cannot use sampal this kind of angle, and my hand is here because this, if it's fast, it goes in. Mm. So I make sure that because making sure that from this position I properly guide the tip. Once the tip out, then I go with the hand. I'm not applying too much force. I'm not just like pushing that way because it's able to strike back. So as long as I guide the tip out from me, I let it go and then go with the path. Okay. Thank you so much for that. That, that was excellent. Thank you. That was okay. awesome. Yeah, and wherever else you guys wherever else you guys got, I mean, I think this is great stuff. So <laughs> Okay, so okay. So I want to expand this. Uh there's a question when I'm doing some similar as a question. So what is the right time you're doing your deflection? The right time to do the deflection. Okay. Yeah. So when this is the right time that you use your defenses, the crossadas, the verticals, the estrellas. So in what situation? Okay. So this is it. These are two kinds of uh, situation of the attack. The other one is wide attack, and then the other one is tight attack. Okay. So if you were in this distance, if he attacks me wide like this, if you pull his weapon. I just go hit right away. Just hit. Okay. I go straight right away to the opponent of my body. Uh, to the, the body of the opponent, sorry. Okay? So if he tries to pull this weapon, then boom! I, I, I drop my strike right away. But it happens that they just only drop his weapon like this. Boom! Just no pulling back. So I cannot go a direct hit because I also got hit. Right. I can't go back That's to the time I use my reflection so mm. that Okay. So not at all times, not just like he's pulling and waiting his weapon and then try to block. So I'm just wasting my time. Well, I can go direct if that time and that attack is wide. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so uh, my we use the deflection. We not use deflection at all times. It depends upon how okay. he approaches to his attack. Okay. Okay. Now we're talking about the, the medium grids. Now we are uh, close race. We are at the close race now. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, in the medium range, when he cut here, I use my deflection so, so that I can cut. So this is the medium distance. I use my Australia from Saraga going to Abierta and then cut. Now, if the distance here is medium, give me the same situation of Takuno do no step up. We are in close order. Okay. When he attack, yeah. If I use this deflection and cut. I'm just wasting my time. Mm -hmm. Well, I can use my leaf to stop and cut direct right away in the body of the opponent. 
Oh, check, check and cut. Okay. okay. If my hand is here, it just will cut right away. If right. Like my hand is here, I check and cut right away. Yeah, okay. Okay, not just keep on uh, uh, deflecting weapon or blocking or whatever. So I just go with a direct hit. Like this mm -hmm. one. If this does like this, cut me here, then I can go my other. Now, it close this does like this. If you keep it the same angle, and then I go recta. So recta buka. So we call the thing mm -hmm. recta buka. So buka is to open. So I go recta and then open buka. Buka. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, great stuff. So, so the con. So are you saying um, definitely use the concept of recto. Check. Just go. Check. Go. Yes. Not okay. just. Not just uh, one two. Everything is like one movement at the time. Right. So why am I? Why I'm checking and recto in close range? This should be cutting. Yes. For example, my hand is here. You mean cut too. So. So I'm going mm. down, my hand also slashing and parrying at the same time. And not just like parry and cutting. Just get yeah, right, right. Make it one count. Okay. <laughs> no, so fantastic. We're wow. we, we, we doing some situation by situation. For example, the hand is, it can, the, my hand is here. So I go here and rake that. It happens that my hand is here, so I go rake that. It happens mm. that it changes the attack higher, then it's time for me to move. Cross to the side. Now, yeah. position, you give me the attack, then I go this way here. Now it happens that my hand is here. So when you cut, then that's it. Now, for example, if my hand is there, they give me the same cut. I mm. can hold back here and do this technique again. So I just do it here. And then we do we do that situation by situation, and then we practice that in the flow. Okay. So we practice in the flow, and then after that, we, we break the flow into a random attack, and then that's the natural reaction of the student at the end. Okay. <laughs> no, fantastic. Wow, that was um, that was awesome. That was yeah, cool. they were practicing like, I tried to execute my, my pluma in a situation, in, in, in a flow, and then he counters me with the recta. Okay. Okay, for example, here. Okay. 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 That was fantastic. Wow. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, that was uh, that was phenomenal. Wow. So it's easy to learn the the, the illustration under the system of master Tony because what is the movement with the single weapon? It's the same movement when you have a dagger on your left hand. It's okay. the same movement. It's the same application at the moment if you have two weapons. Two weapons, right? Yeah. Okay, right. You want to see some of that? No argument here. Let's <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one example here. Yeah. Okay. So, if he strikes me low here. Okay. This is usually also I I saw from from YouTube sometimes. We try to push this one. Why do you push this one? Because again, the attacker stops. That's why he used to push it one. But the real situation, the attack fall through. So you don't need to push that way. Usually they go like this. Boom, you push that way. That uh, uh -huh. like, is the weapon of, the, of his partner. Because the attack stops. That's why he, he used to push and cut. But that's not the real situation. The real situation is just, it just fall through. So look at my tip here. Instead of pulling that way, because I don't need to pull my weapon like this, because look at this one, it's dangerous. Ah, okay. So I use the shield, deflect, and then send the tip to my opponent, not pulling up or pulling that way. So I, instead okay. of pulling back, after that, then I send it to my opponent. So if I don't have life, for example, 
cats. So instead of pushing that way, I just go to the ice right away. Okay, okay. Okay, now if I have knife, at the same moment, when he cuts then, I go trust. Mm -hmm. Let me go this way. I'm just wasting my time. So I just, just trust at the same time, deflection, and then cut at the same time. Okay. Okay, so it's the same, like, like we have the 12, the, the, the 12 uh, targets of illustration. We practice like number one, number two, number three, number four, this is number five, number six, yeah. number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, and 12. So it's the same when I have the other of my left hand, the same. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So it's the same movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, exactly. You just now just add the dagger. Okay. Okay. the same movement. Yeah, I can see that right. That makes it okay. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so yeah. So I hope uh <laughs> No, that was fantastic. I wanna um I wanna thank you guys so much. That was and honestly, I'm going to tell you what, I mean, um, we'll be definitely getting you guys back on. That was uh, when this whole miserable COVID situation ended. Um, but, uh, but that was fantastic. I want to just thank you both. That was, uh, you know, uh, Dor you know Doran, thank you for having me you know, come over and setting everything up. Appreciate it. Sure, no worries, man. No worries. Anytime, anytime. Yeah, and I thank you guys for, you know, agreeing to do this. Um, so what I do is after this, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Oh. Uh, one of your, uh, one of your guests, guests here. <laughs> no, my pleasure. Yeah. No, this is uh, this is bold. Um, so what I can do is I download it to YouTube, and what I'll do is I'll uh, post it to each of your guys' wall, so you guys, you guys will have it on there. Oh, awesome! Um, and all that. But uh, any um, any closing thoughts for the audience? Um, well, I just want to say hi to some friends, you know, Brandon yeah. group, uh, Brandon Ricketts and, uh, his group here in, uh, Manila. Yeah. Uh, so our friends in the States and, you know, KIUSA, you know, Guru Jeff and, uh, in Dallas, uh, Guru Vico and, uh, Dino and Ariel, you know, the Lameco guys. Yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> come back to the Philippines when you can. Jamie, yeah. you also, Dean, you better come here. I know it, it, yeah. um, it's very yeah. old. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's very yeah. old. Too. Miss you and your and your ponytail. <laughs> Tatang used to call him Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. <laughs> Tatang used to call him Steven Seagal because of his ponytail. Uh, yeah, it's second. definitely do. I mean, believe me, it's it's definitely one of those things. Um, one of those goals. Uh, you know, before I go, um, to make it over there. I mean, yeah. So definitely on the bucket list. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah, yeah then we'll go to Burakai. Then uh, we'll forget about training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, would, I mean, it would be an absolute wonderful experience to meet all you guys. I mean, I, you know, goes that goes without saying, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Maestro Arnold, I want to thank you so much. That Those demos were phenomenal. The way you explain things and... Um, the whole Strella thing, where you know you're sliding over like that, not taking the full brunt, you know, I thought that was really well explained. You know, thank you. Uh, um, but can, yeah, can can I have a shout out to? Uh, first, I would say uh, thank you, Dean, for uh, inviting me. Here. Yeah, Dean, thanks a lot. In your, in your oh. discussion, then thank I would like to say Most thank welcome. you. For, yeah, I would say thank you to all the viewers here. Mm. And, uh, uh, I hope uh, you understand what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did. No, I thought <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it. Yeah. yeah. I want to say hi to all my, uh, I have a list here, so that will not get mad. Oh, me. let it Oh, let it rip. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I have to say uh, uh, shout out to all my Kero uh, instructors and representatives around the world. Okay. Started with UK by Guru Shamim Hak. Uh, Croatia, Slavin Panunic, and uh, Marko Dubakovic. 
In Spain, we have Dr. Noe Navarro, Guru Noe Navarro, Sweden, we have Hans Samuelson, and Netherlands, Filipino, Kukro, Carlo, Vicencio. Uh, Korea, we have Richard Wang, Guru Richard Wang. Singapore, we have Ernie Balbaligo. In Japan, we have Arin Casimiro, Hong Kong, we have uh, Lao Wai Ming, Andy Chan, Man Only. So Macau, Bong Tinian. Then I would like to say uh, hi to my uh, USA Kiro instructors like Guru Basti Carlos. Of course, uh, Dallas, uh, Guru Vico Perrine. Yeah. Then, California also, Alex Ercia. Then there's Hello, also uh, a student, a master Tony. He's silent, but uh, he knows Illustrissimo, Hope he teach, Warren Damian. And then other uh, group who represents Illustrissimo, like June Occidental and uh, Guru Dan Loman. So I'll say hi to all my uh, uh, KI seniors, like Master Romy Makapagal, Mr. Martin Roganas, and uh, Master Yuna Rumo. Then, of course, the group of the late Master Tofuri kids, seated by the uh, British brother, Brandon Abros. Uh, mm -hmm. And then another one to all my Kiro instructors in the Philippines, uh, hit by Guru Russell Lim, and uh, Sixto Carlos, Anton Licaros, uh, Tiaro Licano, Arnold Tandang, Ramon Jorge, of course, Lance Villes, hi. And then I say hi to all uh, to all my Luneta group. So see you on Sunday. And then all the uh, FMA instructors in uh, Luneta. So mabuhay. FMA. All right. Yeah, uh, Lance is advocating for a uh, part two already. <laughs> Lance wants a part two? <laughs> Lance is requesting a part two. For the demonstration. Yeah, for yeah, all demo, all demo in the part two, all demo. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That would be kind of neat. I could set that would be a neat part two, which I would totally be in for doing is uh, get you guys on again, and you guys just do just demos. Like that would you be. Send us a message, Dean. No problem. We just have to. You know what I mean? Coach like, yeah, and you guys, I'm just gonna sit back at popcorn, and you guys can just do demos. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, anytime. And, and bring back, hey, Doran, make sure you bring back that other guy because he can provide entertainment in the background. Okay. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure he'll find a way to, I'm sure he'll find a way to comment against uh, Coach Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll find yeah, a way. My, he's my number one fan. <laughs> yeah, you, Thank you, you for being the number one fan of me. Uh, yeah, you uh, put you him in the corner. <laughs> what? Sorry, sorry. Just put him in the corner. We don't have to see him, but he could just shout out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, what's what's that saying? What, what's that saying? Haters gonna hate. Yeah, oh, haters gonna hate. Also to to uh, Tom over yeah, yeah. in yeah, uh, Tom to over in Canada. To, uh, Tom. Uh, oh, okay, 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 sure. Okay, yeah. so I want to be clear because Tom doesn't want to be called Grandmaster. I know this guy again and the and the side watching. Oh, they, they disrespect Tom because he did not call Grandmaster for your. Tom doesn't want to call to be a grandmaster. So no, it's true. In Canada. Yeah, David Gould has told oh, me Dave, that. Yeah, Dave Gould. Yeah, yeah, Dave. David Gould has told me that several times that he does not want to be referred to that. Like he's even told me that. Yeah, no. Yeah, uh, Tom is a real. I mean, he's very quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he's a yeah, it's here. Actually, uh, all all the masters that I've ever you know come across, the really good ones. Mm. They don't really give a. Uh, they don't really care about. Yeah, they know. They don't have the title. About they don't care about titles. titles. Yeah, yeah, they don't care about the titles. Yeah. And and if you're and if you're looking for the movement of Tatang, you know, if you look at if you look at other illustration instructors, look who moves the same. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Let the movement be the judge. No, let the movement not speak the, for itself. Not the like that. Yeah. Let yeah. No, I agree. The judge. I agree. Yeah, the movement should dictate. No, one hundred percent. You're. Yeah, agreed. You know what I mean? Like your dem you know, your demonstration of your move and, and your ability to dictate, you know. Um, oh Master uh Professor DeCano said hello. Sir Bot, Sir Bot. Hi Sir Bot. Hi Sir Bot, Sir Bot. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so we'll definitely um for sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm definitely going to um get this uh Download it and I'll post it to your guys' wall. Yep. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. I want to thank you guys so much. Um, definitely, we'll be definitely hope see you guys getting you guys back on 100%. So, um, 
Just say when. Yeah, say yeah, when. absolutely. All right, guys. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Thank you. Um, Thanks, thank you. Take care. Keep you safe. too. Keep All right. Bye-bye. Bye, Dave. Bye. Bye, Bye, <laughs> All right. That was long, but uh, uh, necessary. <laughs> um, a good one. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to download that. I'll get that up. And next week, next week, um, I'm actually lost track. I got to uh, see who's coming. Oh, I'm going to find out on Lance and Doran speaking on Bakan Bakan. So uh, hopefully uh, that will be happening soon. Um, that's an area I'd like to definitely find out more about. So. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit like, subscribe to FMA Discussion on YouTube, and this will be uh, posted shortly. Thank you all that commented, uh, watched, joined in. I appreciate it. Um, thank you so much, and I will see you all soon. Thank you, and take care.